Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, my neck's really good. I think I've been sleeping on it funny. Oh, anyways, I'm starting off this vlog because I'm going to get my hair done, so I wanted to document it before and after. So literally, I'll check on the time because I have got to set off pretty much now. Um, but basically, if you watch my videos, you'll know I don't get my hair done much. The last time I had it done was January, and I opted for something a lot more low maintenance, kind of got rid of the yellow brassy blonde, and it was a lot dark when I had it done. But now, as you can see, it's kind of faded into, I'd like to, it's a bit like a gingery, it looks a bit like a fox's tail to me, like I'm not liking it. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's grown though, I will say that. It's definitely grown in length, so I'm buzzing with that. Um, but I'm not actually sure what I'm going to get done today. The hairdresser that I go to is actually a new one that I went to last time and I'm really impressed with her. Um, but I only go a couple times a year, like I say. So part of me really wants to be like, it's summer, everyone's getting the hair blonde. I miss my blonde, I want the brightness. But then the other part of me is like, am I just saying that because it's been sunny for a bit and I'm like, I know that after a month or two it'll go into a brassy yellowy colour and I'm not going to be going to hairdressers every six weeks to for the upkeep. So I think I'm going to still opt for something low maintenance. As you can see, my hair's pretty greasy, but my natural colour, as I've got older, especially underneath, look, it's really dark. So I'm not sure yet. I'll see what the hairdresser says. But I just want to get rid of this kind of coppery colour and have a bit different tone. We will see. I have a little bit chopped off for the health of the hair, but I want to keep growing it. So yeah, that's my plan for today. I've just been so, so busy um, lately, hence why I have not been on and done a vlog. Um, but it should be quite a nice, nice one this week because we're off work and... Um, we're actually going down, we've got a bit of a weekend trip, we're off to visit my mum and dad and then we're off to visit Tom and Els as well while we're kind of that way up. Yeah, there's some people standing on the roof over there. Yeah, it's kind of on the roof so we're going to make, see them both. Uh, looking forward to seeing them all and yeah, looking forward to it because we've not really been been there, been to see my mum and dad for ages, so looking forward to that. So I'll pick you up then. Um, I think I'm meeting my sister tomorrow. The weather's been really rubbish, so like proper rainy. I'm just talking quick, so now I need to go. But yeah, I think I'm meeting my sister tomorrow and the kids, and think we're going to go to Chatsworth. Hopefully it's not rubbish though. Like I'm sick of this British weather. Honestly, I need some sunshine. Um, and I'm so excited as well because. We find out a week today the gender of the baby, so that'll probably be my next vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm just dying to know. Don't really mind what it is, but I just want to know so we can get things more organised and stuff. But I can't really see because of how where I'm stood. You can see a bit of a bump day. So yeah, I'm 20 weeks this week, 20 weeks tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling good. A lot less lethargic and everything now. Um, and i went been for a lot of nice walks this week, just to my usuals, but I've been getting up and out really early the last couple of mornings at like half six whilst Matt and Isla have still been asleep and just gone, gone for it. So yeah, swimming as well. So yeah, feeling in good spirits. I need to go. Oh, that was a purse, man. I need to go now. <laughs> Catch you. I'll show you when my hair's done because your hair always looks good for the first day or so, doesn't it? So yeah, I'll pick you up. I need to go to Chesco as well. Anyway, I'm rambling and I must go because I'm going to be late otherwise. Okay, guys, I'm at the hairdressers. Um, it's quite a subtle change, I think, at first glance. But then actually look in it. She's put quite a bit of blonde. Just checking I was next to me quite a bit of blonde through it so I'll show you properly at home um but yeah I'm pleased with it because it's still something that's low maintenance but it's brightened it up a little bit hello um I'm now back 
a few hours later so I look a bit dishevelled um, but I just thought I'd pop on to show my hair I don't think it on camera really looks massively different um, but I did ask for something subtle that's low maintenance but a bit brighter and I think that's exactly what she's done really like she's brightened it up a bit around the face but not put too much where my roots come through it's going to look like a massive root um, so she's packed it with quite a lot of blonde um, and she was saying as well because I was like I'm still looking at Matt now because he's listening you know saying how dark my hair is underneath she was saying that apparently in pregnancy your hormones change loads and it can change your hair wow. so that's why it might be like suddenly darker than it's ever been what underneath yeah weird but yeah I'm happy with it um, and I actually went to Aldi and I didn't do a haul but it's because our friends were around so I just quickly put the shopping away one thing that's in front of me though I don't know what these are like protein bites cereal I used to love in lockdown did you have you ever had crunchy bran it's like Weetabix make no. I think it was called crun or oh, crunchy something it weren't yeah. bran flakes it might not have been crunchy, crunchy bran, bran. But they looked a bit like this, so if anyone knows what I'm talking about, let me know. So I thought, I'll try them, they were like literally £1 something. And then yeah, everything else I've kind of put away, we're just having... We haven't had it in ages actually, have, have we? Yeah. The pulled pork, but it's literally so cheap. Um, I think it was even on offer as well, so it's like £2.60 six, something for two. So you just literally put it in the oven, I need to take it out in a minute, shred it up and then put the sachet in with it and we just have it on a baguette don't we yeah some salad but yeah i've been struggling for like food ideas recently me too that's why i thought i'd go to aldi to mix it up a bit from tesco's and uh, I think see if anything popped out to me shoes, yeah but i'm getting sick of a certain me too and want something this is why i think we should sign back up to gusto i know but cooking of the gusto is pain I know what you mean, like after a long day at work you can't bother to look at 10 million different numbers but it is tasty. Timings. I'm crap with timings. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go and finish off tea because I need to put the baguette sinks. We always buy the um, bake at home baguettes as well. These are quite big though, I swear they're not as big as this usually. But yeah, I will pick you back up probably tomorrow we shall see morning guys i just thought i'd pop on i don't know if you watched my last video and i saw a couple of videos back when i got this bag come in handy because i'm going to meet my sister today and the kids for a picnic so come prepared um i've got like loads of snacks and stuff i'm gonna get a morrison salad on the way and i can get a coffee um with that so yeah Looking forward to it. It said it's going to be 17 degrees today, but it's looking windy and not 17 degrees. So I've just put this on. I'm starting to now, I felt now I've got like an obvious bump, wear more tight fitted stuff. Um, so yeah. Isla's ready, but as you can see, she can't see because of the hair in her face, but she's ripping bubbles out, so I'm not going to do her bubbles until we get there. Um, but anyways, I'm going to set off now and pray, oh that's bright, pray that the sun comes out, because um, it's not looking likely at the minute to be quite honest, we'll see. Hi guys, I'm currently nap trapped in the car and I'm so glad that I've got my big coat that was in the car. I'm whispering because I was asleep. Can you hear a snoring? Don't know why I brought my sunglasses because it's absolutely chucking it down. Which is so annoying because it wasn't even forecast rain for today. Like this was meant to be the best day of the week. <sighs> Never mind. Um, I'm sure we'll still have a lovely time, but I'm not sure we're going to eat the picnic. I full on brought Morrison salad and loads of snacks, strawberries, apple, banana, crisps, dip, 
so yeah that might not go very well but i am buzzing because I, you know when you go to car parks and you can do the pay by phone so you don't actually have to get out of the car that's what i'm doing um but i'm just currently waiting for my sister and like i said there's napping so I don't, no rush um i'm just listening to elle's catching up because we literally send podcasts every day on voice note Hey guys, um, I just thought I'd pop on, so sorry for you here. I know I'm right in the background, it's just giggling. Honestly, the bump is bumping. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly pop on because we've just been out to basically get Isla some more clothes um, and some more shoes because if you watch our videos, you'll know how obsessed she is with her Crocs. So we've got some new ones, exactly the same, but we also got some different ones. So first thing, we went to the first place we went to was Matalan. Um, and we just got these cute little shorts and jumper set, which I thought would be lovely. Now it's getting a bit warmer. It was £12, but online it did say £10. And you can see where they've pulled the original thing off, so that's a bit cheeky of them. But I did love it, so I thought we had to get that. Um some little crocs they were exactly the same as the other ones they were five pound we're saying though because we've got a load of new shoes um well like we should have got them in different sizes crazy hair girl are you coming to say hi she's just pulled them yeah, off she's got three pairs of crocs oh in the same size anyway that was matalan on to primark i've got myself a couple of bits too um so first thing was a pack of sleep suits now she probably is at an age where she should more be in pajamas but we just love sleep suits and i'm like i can't let go of sleep suits just yet and hold on till she's like two so i've got these in 18 to 24 months i just got one out in the shop to see how big it looked and it does look big to be fair really long yeah but they're cute these have got flowers on one's just a pink color and one's got like a yellow flowers on so that's cute no, Isla, Isla no. no um so yeah got next few is for Isla <clears throat> so just some like shorts and t-shirt sets really cute again so cheap like £1.30 for the shorts £2.50 for the tops we've got a pink set I then got this because I was saying to Matt we don't really have loads of like actual nice outfits she just lives in like joggers t-shirts that kind of thing and um, so I wanted to get her a cute outfit but they didn't have any in two to three but because she is big I got three to four it doesn't look too too huge does it no but I thought that would look really cute with some of the shoes I'm going to show you we did want to get her some wellies but I don't think it's really welly season anymore is it because she likes splashing in the puddles um some cute little, these want machos, little grey shorts. Um, machos, these couple of t-shirts. Little butterfly one. Little frilly one. Um, then I got some more crocs. I was like, oh my god, these are so cute. These were literally £3.30, so I couldn't not buy them. In fact, let's show her. I love them. I love them. And these are from the Stacia Solomon range. These were six pounds, but you can tell they're a bit more well made to be fair and softer and more cushioned. But like they I think they would look nice with the outfit that I've just shown you. Um just chucking them to I then got myself some sandals, which again my sandals I've been wearing. I've said to Matt I've literally were from Primark about five years ago. So I'm in desperate need. I thought they were quite expensive looking, a bit like Zara or H&M. <clears throat> they were £11, which I did think is a bit pricey for Primark, but even in Matalan, I said to you, didn't I, the sandals were like £20 plus. Yeah. And they feel like really good quality, so I'll be living in them. Um, a pack of vests. So again, she can just wear these with the shorts and t-shirts and stuff. And it's a pack of seven for £7.50. Again, some nice, pretty much similar 
prints to the other ones that I showed you, the sleep suits. Um, I've got some beauty blenders because I've just been using a foundation brush lately, but I feel like beauty blenders are quite good. And the last couple of bits are from me, I think. So I've got this oversized t-shirt. I mean, I was going to get medium because it was oversized already, but I went for large, so I thought, with my bump and stuff, the bigger the better like so I'm gonna, it's just like really nice and baggy with some leggings how much was that seven pounds but it feels really nice and thick quality so yeah please with that and um, then the last things I got for me were these shorts which I thought were really nice six pound stretchy waist again got them in a large so I thought with my bump and I got this matching t-shirt which I thought would be quite nice to go with it. You can picture my vision. And then last thing I bought were just some hoops. I've been on the lookout for gold hoops for ages and it's like I might start it. I said, Do you think they look tacky? He said, No, I think they just look tacky because they're all together. I think I agree, like if I was wearing them one pair it'd look all right but yeah can't go wrong for two pounds so uh, that's everything we picked up i just thought i would show you what's that in that milk yeah oh she's not got any milk she's got like seven ounces can she have a bit of the oat milk how long have you been not long so yeah that's everything we picked up and today because we're going away tomorrow stay away going to visit my mum and dad and stuff but yeah because of that because we're back at work on monday we're having a bit of a tidy up day so i'm gonna take kylie down for a nap and then we're just gonna sort the house hoover mop sweep up keep on top of washing blah 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 so yeah i'm sure i'll pick you up probably tomorrow hey guys how are you <laughs> Hi! We didn't actually pick up the camera, did we, yesterday at all, mum and dad. Um, to be honest with you, the weather has been horrible. Like, we were saying we'd probably prefer it to rain because it was just such gale force winds that we didn't even go out. Um, which is a shame because my mum and dad live by the coast, but we'll come up again in a few weekends. Um, so yeah, we're now en route for our next leg of the trip to go and meet Tom and Els. Um, we're going to go for breakfast and then we're going to go swimming, so that'll be cute. What are you going to have for breakfast? Oh, Matt's actually had two breakfast. Well, he's having two breakfast. He woke up because <clears throat> woke woke every time we go to my mum's, she does feed us like really good, doesn't she? She's really yeah. good at cooking and stuff. Anyway, we had so much to eat yesterday. And Matt woke up going, oh, I'm so, I'm so full still from yesterday. I don't think I can have a breakfast. I came downstairs and um, he sat there with my mum having a bacon, <laughs> egg and mushroom sandwich. I'm yeah, like, are you so, kidding me? Um, I don't think I'll be, I don't know, I might have a pancake or something. Just the one. Or a coffee, I don't know. I'll show you what we we'll get, see. but yeah, I'm saving myself. Um, the menu looks right on my street actually. It looks like you have like eggs benedict, eggs royale, avocado, <laughs> cooking cooking now. Your mum's cooking so nice. I know, but we're meeting friends. <laughs> anyway, we'll pick you up. We won't be there for a while yet, so we might have room. <laughs> so, pick you up soon. Lovely, lovely few days. We actually 
went back on our journey, picked my mum up and my mum's come till Tuesday because that's when we find out the gender so her mum's having Isla because as I said before you can't take understandably can't take kids into stands um my mum came so actually I'll show you they're outside bless her playing oh can't see them but basically the latest game must have come inside oh no my mum's there um her latest game is just um shoving that little little tykes car down the little hill and rolling it back up and pushing it back down again so yeah mum's kindly um looking after isla whilst i can get some work done um yeah because i've got a lot of work to catch up on um so yeah really really helpful because matt's gone out to do a job as well I just wanted to show you honestly, like, you might have seen it if I did take a vlog, but we had the loveliest time with Tom and Els, short but sweet, um, but it was lovely. So I went for breakfast, it wasn't that short, it was a few hours, but normally we spend like the weekend with them or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I met them for breakfast at a lovely place, I can't remember what it was called. I had like, the eggs benedict, Matt had pancakes, I think I said actually in my vlog. I might have been in Tom and Elle's vlog, I was saying how he had a breakfast at my mum's. I mean, it was quite a drive, because they don't live that close together. But he had another breakfast when we met there, more brunch. Um, so he wasn't too, too hungry. So he had pancakes. And then we took the kids, so weird saying that, but we took the kids swimming. So it was so nice, like, Isla loved the pool, like, she loves the pool at our gym but she like loved this pool even more if it was like a change of scenery or whatever but yeah it's so much brighter in here as well i've noticed i don't know if i mentioned i don't think i have that we've chopped the not we and anything matt and his dad have chopped chopped the tree the big tree down outside isla's room and it's just letting so much more light it's so bright and airy and just go i just love isla's room i said before it's my favorite room in the house um but anyway yeah so at breakfast we i don't think i vlogged actually did i just did a montage of our food but at breakfast Els actually asked me to be a bridesmaid it was uh, honestly i cried um so i just wanted to show you like she got me a little gift bag so it had this balloon, I'm not gonna lift it all, I'll lift things up one at a time. It had this gift bag and a load of stuff in it. So this balloon was popping out. Oh, everything's going, this gold balloon. And on the bottom of the balloon, um, if you found, if you follow Tom and Elle, you'll have seen, which you probably do, because that's how a lot of you found us. Um, but it says, I'll read it out in a sec. But it says, girl, you always knew, but let's at least pretend this is a surprise. Courtney, will you be bright bridesmaid? How lovely is that? That's what made me cry. Um, and then, yeah, just a load of cute gifts. So, a new water bottle, buzzing. So nice. I might even keep this, because obviously I've got another one at the minute, so I might keep this. Um, I, might, I could keep one at work, actually, because I was saying, wasn't that my problem was... I keep smashing, my mouse, I keep saying keep smashing, I smashed one, but because they don't fit in my car, so I could keep one at work and one at home. Um, yeah, probably keep this one at home. And then one at work. This lovely, they're laughing at me because like, I can't use that, I'm not going to light it, I keep it. Oh, that smells nice as well. What scented it? Mm -mm. But it says, bridesmaid, the perfect partner in crime for wedding shenanigans. An impromptu dance off the ultimate wing woman who helps the bride slay her big day love that just so so excited um this lovely hair clip <laughs> i don't know why i'm putting it like that but really nice big claw clip a lovely scrunchie which again says bride squad having to hold your hair back love that um little cookie shortbread thing which says will you be my bridesmaid 
uh, pairs well with bridesmaid duties. I'll probably keep that until the day of the wedding, I think. Obviously, I can't drink because I'm pregnant. Um, but when the wedding is... Obviously, I won't be pregnant anymore. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And then some lovely little clips. I was like, should I save them until the wedding day? She's like, no, you can use them whenever. Um, but, yeah. Really cute little clips. So, yeah. And then there's some lovely, like, kind of tissue and stuff at the bottom. Really, really thoughtful. But Elsie's so super thoughtful. Um, and, yeah, I just feel honoured and excited for the big day, really. So, just wanted to pop on and show you that. Um, yeah, in terms of what I've been up to and stuff, I think we've shown, really, most of it. Like I said, I've just got a lot of work to do now, so um, I'm gonna crack on with that. And then, yeah, that's everything from me. And my mum, blessed her, she's the best cook ever. I just feel, honestly, like I can't stop to eating. Um, well, she's making a roast chicken dinner today, so that'll be lovely. I was like, Mum, you don't have to do that. Like, you're our guest. She's like, no, but I just love cooking. I love, and she does. So that's really, really nice. I don't see my mum my often because we don't live down the road from each other. So it's nice when we do see her because she stays. And my dad's coming up too to pick her up because mum doesn't drive. Um, on Tuesday, after the... I don't know how to do this, but after the day, the day that we find out the gender, so yeah, it's going to go ahead and end today's video here. Um, and I'll see you in next week's, which will probably be the reveal, the gender reveal. So yeah, thank you for watching. I don't even know what I've vlogged this video, to be quite honest, bits and bobs here and there. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you soon, and see you in the next one. Bye!